Hey, I'm your host Jeremy Payne and today for That Was History and I'm going to enlighten you on something that happened and is going on in outer space that's pretty significant. So when you get in your car and you drive somewhere that you don't know how to get there, for the most of us these days we put the address in our GPS. But what is the first thing that says on the GPS screen when it pops up? For the most part, it says searching for satellites. Satellites are placed all over in space that connect to your GPS to allow you to navigate to your final destination. But these aren't the only satellites in space. There are over 6,000 different satellites in space that were used at some point point in time for research or another purpose. Yeah, you heard the number right, 6,000. But not all of these are being used, only about 3,000 of them still remain operational and live that are in use. So in turn, you have all these satellites that are just orbiting out there in space, no specific pattern not being used. It would to me be pointless nonetheless to retrieve these satellites once someone has finished using them, but that turns out to create an issue. It causes the potential for crashes to rise. So what do we have on February 10th of 2009? Exactly that. Over Siberia, the Iridium-33 would collide with the Cosmos 2251. One was a United States satellite that was still live in operation, and then the other one was a retired satellite that was causing the issue. So what will we do about these satellites that are just sitting up there causing the potential for more crashes? Should we just leave them up there and risk the potential for more live satellites to crash and be damaged? Or should we set a mission for space to retrieve all the retired satellites so that our other satellites won't become the site of another crash. Let's hear your thoughts and opinions down in the comments section below on what you think about this topic. If you like the content we had for you today, please hit the like button down below and hop on over to our social media sites to keep up with the latest episode of That Was History. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.